This is a quick video intro to the new licensing system that is new in Snowflake 4.9. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start up Snowflake here. Okay, so now you're going to get something new. This is where you log in with your Snowflake account. Your Snowflake account is now how you manage licensing of Snowflake the software. Uh, the first time you see this, you will obviously not have a Snowflake account necessarily, so then you can click here to start the process of registering one. So I'm just going to make a new account. I'll just put in a username and a password. Uh, now I'm going to get an email link sent to my email. And I'm going to click on that. You will not see me click on it because I'm clicking on it on my phone where it arrives. Okay, now that I click the link, it uh, automatically continued the process. So now it's going to ask me if I have a license code. Uh, license codes are the codes from Snowflake's licensing system before this new one was introduced. So if you already own a Snowflake license, this would be where you put it in to redeem it so that it becomes a license in the new system. Uh, if you don't have one, that's okay. You press no, continue to the end, and uh, you will actually get two free temporary licenses, one of business and one of multi-teach so that you can try either. Uh, I'm just going to click yes so I can show you this. Basically here you would put in the license code, you would press redeem, and it would tell you if you could successfully redeem it or not. Uh, an important thing to note is that you can only redeem Snowflake Business and Snowflake Multi-Teach licenses in the new system. Snowflake Ultimate and Snowflake Entertainment licenses are sadly not supported. And if you have one of those editions, you should either contact support.newitech.com to get upgraded to a business license or a multi-teach license, or you will need to continue using an older version of Snowflake that still supports your license. Actually, I don't really have any license codes, so I'm just going to click Finish without redeeming anything. Uh, yeah, you get the visit complete. I can click to close. Because I didn't actually redeem a code, I'm also going to get the free license, temporary license. So I'm going to log in now. And my login was successful. And then I can just click here to launch Snowflake. And it's just going to start up as normal. And yeah, now my license is fully activated. Um, basically, the next time I start Snowflake, I will not have to log in again, unless something very special has happened, like I've been logged out or so. Uh, I'm going to get to that later in the video, how that works. But yeah, now this computer is logged into my account, and now this computer is using one of my licenses. So now I'm going to show you how the account management works. It's at account.newitech.com. And here I log in with my Snowflake account. I could also have made my account here on the web, but I chose to make my account inside Snowflake. And here you're going to see my licenses. So basically here is my business license slot and here is my multi teach license slot. Since I signed in with business, I'm using up the business one. Uh, as you can see, these are temporary and expire on the 8th of October, which is three days from now. It's the 5th of October today. One thing that's good to note here is that we've actually removed the concept of deactivating your licenses from computers. Now you can deactivate right from here in the web panel. You can either drag them to this red thing, or you can click on this power button, and it will actually say, do I want to sign the computer out and make this license not available again? So if I press OK, now the Snowflake instance here, this local computer, has actually been signed out. So if I try to start it again, it's going to ask me to log in again. So I get up the login again, and basically this is a way to f to remove computers from your account that you are no longer using. And you can even do it with computers that you have lost, that have broken down, that have hardware failures or anything. So from here you can manage all of your computers. Um, just to go through this a little bit, I'm going to look first at the profile. Here you can change your email, change your password if you need to. You have the redeem code where you can put in license codes that you have to put in more of these licenses into your account. Uh, you can transfer licenses. You can send licenses. For example, if you resell a Snowflake license, you can transfer it on to your customer here. Uh, help opens the help 
and logout is logout. That is a really quick rundown on how the new licensing system in Snowflake 4.9 works.